Pneumonia is a type of infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs, causing breathing problems and other symptoms. There are several causes of pneumonia, such as bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. If left untreated, the infection can turn deadly. Community Acquired Pneumonia, or CAP, is pneumonia that is contracted in the community setting, rather than in a hospital or other healthcare setting. Taking steps to prevent and identify CAP can make a great impact to help protect your health. Let's talk about what to look for. Pneumonia can affect anyone, but some people are at a higher risk than others, such as the very young and the elderly. Combining these with another risk factor, such as a respiratory illness like COPD, can put someone at a very high risk for pneumonia. Other risk factors depend on how healthy your lungs are. People who are smokers have the flu, COVID-19 disease, or another respiratory virus. And those who have inhaled certain types of toxins have a higher risk of pneumonia. Whether you are at high risk or not, it's important to take steps to prevent pneumonia. Vaccinations are one way to help protect you from some types of pneumonia. Pneumonia can become fatal if left untreated, so it's important to know the signs of infection. Common symptoms of pneumonia include coughing that may produce phlegm, shortness of breath, and sharp or stabbing chest pain that gets worse when you breathe deeply or cough. Other symptoms can include fatigue, headaches, and muscle pain. A fever, chills, and sweating are serious signs of infection as well and should be reported to your doctor immediately. Ignoring these signs can lead to a life-threatening condition known as sepsis. Sepsis is the body's life-threatening response to infection. Like strokes or heart attacks, sepsis is a medical emergency that requires rapid diagnosis and treatment. For a person to develop sepsis, they must first have an infection. Any infection, from a small cut to pneumonia, can lead to sepsis. The infection itself can be bacterial, viral, fungal, or parasitic. Some people are at a higher risk of developing infections that lead to sepsis. Those who have the highest risk of developing sepsis when they get an infection include the very young and the very old, as well as people with chronic or serious illnesses, such as diabetes and cancer, and those who have a weakened immune system. Thankfully, there are many ways to reduce the risk of infections, like community-acquired pneumonia, which can lead to sepsis. Vaccines can help protect you from certain illnesses and, as a result, reduce the risks of infection that could lead to sepsis. Hand washing is something we do every day, but it's also the first step in preventing illnesses as long as you are doing it correctly. To wash your hands well, you need to use running water and lather your hands, making sure to rub between each finger and under your nails. Be sure to dry your hands thoroughly with a clean towel. In the event that you suspect you have an infection, contact your doctor immediately. If they suspect a bacterial infection, you will likely be prescribed antibiotics that will help kill the bacteria or stop them from reproducing. Different antibiotics work for different types of bacteria, either a specific type or multiple types, which is why it is essential that people take antibiotics only when necessary and exactly as prescribed. Be sure to follow the directions on how and when to take the medicine. Doing so will help reduce the risk of sepsis. Like pneumonia, it's crucial that you identify the signs of sepsis and seek emergency care if you have two or more of these symptoms. Using the acronym TIME, temperature, infection, mental decline, and extremely ill can help spot a combination of warning signs. If you have an infection, such as pneumonia, the symptoms will primarily affect your lungs. However, if the infection has progressed to sepsis, you will develop other signs which may affect your whole body. An unusually high or low temperature is one sign of sepsis. Sepsis can affect your mental status. People who have sepsis may be unusually confused, sleepy, or not make sense when speaking. Some people, especially the elderly, may not show typical signs of infection. Instead, they may show a sudden change in mental status, becoming confused or worsening dementia. 
Finally, feeling extremely ill, such as having severe pain or shortness of breath, is something not to ignore. Survivors of sepsis often report that it was the worst they have ever felt. Sepsis is a life-threatening condition, but you can take steps to help prevent it with good, consistent hygiene and avoiding people with infections that can spread from person to person. By following these basic rules, you can decrease your risk of becoming ill with pneumonia or another infection. Infection prevention is sepsis prevention. Visit sepsis.org to learn more about fighting and preventing infection.